guys it is Friday I think the last time I vlogged was probably on Monday so I don't know how I managed to do it you guys but I managed to fall sick again um, I have like a bloody throat infection uh, it started off with this side of the throat and I just couldn't swallow and it was very swollen and then it just went through both sides of my throat now it really really hurts when I swallow and I could feel like my nose is starting to get blocked and I feel very feverish at the same time so I don't know how I managed to get that because I thought usually you would get such infections if you're outside it's one of the food that I ordered from Uber I don't know but it's been it's been tiring it's been um, challenging and so I just put Mika down to rest so hopefully he would be sleeping in the next couple of hours my mom-in-law is here to help watch him uh, and then I'm going to go to the doctor so Mimi's gonna fetch me and we're gonna go to the doctor and then after that we're gonna come back and then we're gonna go again to NUH because it's his um, we have an appointment with a surgeon there for his circumcision to see how it works and when he can do it and all that stuff so yeah fucking sucks you guys like I really hate falling sick and then yeah, last night was really horrible as well. I couldn't swallow. I didn't eat. I didn't eat much for lunch. I didn't eat dinner. I'm really, really hungry. But every time I swallow anything, like including water, is very, very painful. So we'll see. I am trying to fit into my jeans, my non-maternity jeans, for the first time uh, since I got pregnant, and I'm going to be wearing my non-maternity top. So this is how the outfit looks like. I look horrible, my god. The jeans are so loose. Like these used to be basically skinny jeans or skin tight for me. Um, but they look horrible now. They look like... They look gross. They look, I don't know. It's so loose. And then this top, like what the fuck happened? It's so loose. I should probably go and change. I don't know. Uh, not a good day, guys. Not a good day. I decided to change into something a little bit more presentable, I think. So this is another one of my jeans. Uh, it's fitting quite nicely. I decided to just keep to this shirt so that it's loose and I changed my bra as well because my boobs have gotten bigger, I think. Prepared Mika's outfit for later so he's gonna be wearing a hat he's gonna be wearing this which is so cute and I like that he's long sleeved and then we will swaddle him with this little bag here hey guys so it's 25th of November it's one month since his birth so happy one month birthday Mika if you're ever watching this in future so he's being a very good boy he's sleeping now it's his uh, 2 p.m. 1 p.m. nap so he would be up probably in about two hours and I am currently just trying to do a couple of things on a computer I'm trying to collate all my vlogs together so I can start editing them a very easy peasy Saturday Min is away to Japan for about a week so it'll be interesting without him okay guys so I got a couple of packages here so I thought I would unbox them with you. The first one is this really really cute bag with Peppa Pig. Do you guys watch Peppa Pig? I don't know, my sister's obsessed with it and it's super cute. It's from one of Mim's uh, friends. I've never met her before but uh, she is an old friend of his and she always gives us gifts so super excited. Okay, so uh, the first item looks like a towel or a blanket thingy. It has like a I don't know, like a hooded thing here, so it's really cute. I want to say that we've been just so blessed with getting so many gifts from our friends and family uh, for Pita. Like honestly, like we have been so freaking blessed. Like my friends, people who I work with, uh, my close friends, my personal friends um, from Mim as well. Everyone's just been showering us with gifts so much so that we didn't really buy him much other than like the necessities like the furniture and all that but everything else we've pretty much gotten it from everybody so it's been 
really really blessed so this is like a i don't know whether it's a towel i think it's a towel it has a hooded little thing here so it's really cute it's green he doesn't have a green towel and he has a lot of different animals at the back so it's super cute let's see what else is in here there is oh this is so cute i see the word french fries it looks like a t-shirt It has like a french fry in front and it has a little pocket here This is probably when he's like a year or something But it's always good to kickstart that part of the wardrobe So in his wardrobe at the moment, we actually separate We had to separate stuff out between the ages So we are now looking, we are now taking stuff from the 0 to 3 months age And then we've got another part of the cupboard that has uh, 6 to 9 months and all that Or else everything just gets jumbled up all over the place Oh my god, that's so cute Food for fun, yes He loves food, he loves to feed So I'm sure he'll like this This is super super cute Okay, there's one last item in here There's so many stuff Oh, there's a card too Oh, so cute Congrats on your new bundle of joy, Jay. Thank you so much, Jay. Really, really appreciate it. It's so cute. This other little package that she had in has like a really cute packaging. It looks like a little shirt here. So. Ah! It's a little toy. No. Oh my god. Is this like a Harry Potter thingy? I have no idea. But it's a little like beading here which is so freaking cute and then there is a scarf here that looks like that okay, the other thing that came is my other Yves Rocher uh, box you guys can, it'll probably be up by now but I do have an unboxing of the first box uh, for one reason or another I made a purchase of two boxes instead of one uh, which I am not complaining about because I actually really really liked what I saw in the box so I'm just gonna check whether it's the same thing as the other one yeah it looks like the same thing the lupa is of a different color but everything else is kind of the same so this is like a freaking good deal like if you guys ever get a chance to uh, participate in like their $29 mystery boxes on Lazada I highly recommend uh, I wasn't too impressed by the main little one but the the Yves Rocher one was really good. Okay, up next is a very exciting package. It's from one of my like mentors from the bank. Uh, she is a highly respected person and uh, I'm really touched that she actually gave me something. She's based in Hong Kong now, so it looks like she sent it across from Hong Kong. It took about five minutes to open, but this is the packaging. It's a uh, French name ooh la la I oh my god oh my god this is too much oh my god look at that she always goes overboard with her gifts oh my god this is too cute you guys what the fuck? it's a hippo and it has a little tiny elephant that came out from its little pouch here it also has a little tiny little lion here which is super super cute and it has like a bell too and this is the little elephant that was also in the hippo's bag and it has like a cute little pigeon or chick up here and it has this thing at the back so it's so freaking cute so like I read in the baby book that little kids like they need things to ignite their senses so things like this are really good because he can feel it and then for this one he can actually um, play with it and hear the sound and all that. This is so freaking cute and it feels so plush. Oh my God. There's a little giraffe here as well. And there's a little ostrich. Oh my god. This is too cute, you guys. I can't believe it. Oh, it's a pair. It's two pairs of socks. 
one with a little cheek on it and the other one has like just stripes on it super super cute made in morocco designed in france paris so cute and the last one is one what little French boys wear, huh? Like their onesies are not just the normal onesies, it has to be the collared type of onesie. Feels very very luxurious. Like the, the texture is it's not like the ones that I get from Mother Care or from Cotton On Babies. It's very different from that. So it's so cute. I think this would be suitable for him like now or in a couple of weeks. And also the weather these days has been very chilly. So the long sleeves are very very um, useful. I feel very very lucky. Both me and Mim like that we are so blessed with so many good friends who, you know, even the ones like just wishes, well wishes people who send their love from afar and uh, people who send flowers we've had like his big boss sending flowers to us and just people who visit me people who actually bother to take time off and come all the way to the east and visit me and people who actually bother to spend their hard-earned money on our little baby i'm just so freaking touched so yeah i'm really blessed you i was talking to mim last night and i have this tendency to see the not so bright side of life so i'm usually a little bit more of your negative nancy if anything and uh, he was reminding me that look you have everything going on like why are you depressed um and i was basically depressed because i was still sick and i was just being uh, a whiny girl saying that I've spent a whole month at home, blah blah blah, for stupid little things. But these type of things that happen really, I should be more thankful for them. So it's freaking cute. Good morning, it is Sunday. Um, I mean, my throat is feeling a lot better, like I can swallow without making a face. Like at its height, I couldn't even swallow my own saliva, so it's a lot better. So thanks to the power of medicine, the antibiotics really, really help. So thank God for that. Um, it is about 10 o'clock now, I think. I just took a shower, uh, already showered Mika, and he's with my mom-in-law now. I really appreciate just this, even if I get 30 minutes or an hour to just shower and clean myself up. It's very appreciated because... I just feel so dirty like he looks so clean after I shower him and I feel like the dirtiest person on earth because I don't know like when I go to sleep I don't feel that dirty but I think throughout the night because I keep waking up and I'm sweating and I get dirty and you know if he gets wet I get wet as well and all that I don't know I just it just feels so much better after a shower um, last night was pretty rough he woke up like three times, like once every two hours. He woke up at 12, at 2, at 4, and then he woke up at 6 or 7-ish. So um, the feeds were pretty okay. I don't know whether I got any sleep or not. Do I look like I'm not getting enough sleep? I don't know. He should be okay. I mean, I don't know. I just feel like I told him that I'll just survive this one week. It's going to be tough, but I'll just try to survive it and do nothing but it. But it's very difficult because I'm trying to do other things while I'm taking care of the baby. But it's very, 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 very difficult. And it's so easy for him or other people to just say, oh, but you know, you should do what you want. But it's so difficult because he feeds every two hours. And when you do have that break, you have a thousand things to do, you're very tired. And yeah, it's very difficult to do. And even if I want to do a vlog or anything, or a video, it takes more than two hours to record a bloody video. It takes more than two hours to, you know, do whatever it is that I want to do. So it's very difficult. So I, I just feel like the past month has just kind of flown by uh, while I have managed to do a couple of things here and there i haven't really done like i don't feel like i've done as much as i could for a whole month but that's because i'm taking care of the baby so i don't know it's very hard to explain and i think i get very frustrated when i'm trying to explain it to him as well because it feels that yeah but the only thing you're doing is taking care of the baby you should have other time to do other things no you don't really have 
Yeah. So these are just some supplements that I'm taking. I'm taking this thing here called fenugreek, with which my friend Rose uh, recommended to me. Um, it is like a, I think it's a plant. Uh, oh, best taken with food. Okay, I'll have some. It's like a vegetable cap. <laughs> vegetable cap. Uh, it comes in pills, so it's not like, it doesn't taste funky or anything. But it's supposed to support breastfeeding things. Um, so we got this, I don't know where he got it from, but he got it this for me. And then I have these three pills were the pills that I took uh, when I was pregnant. And my doctor said, yeah, just continue to take it because I have a lot of it still left. And um, it's basically just extra nutrition for the baby. So this was what he gave me. This is for, this is I think calcium. So it's very cute. I always thought the bottle was very cute because it looks like a, a milk bottle. And then this thing here I think is for iron or something. Let's see. Was it for, is for pregnant and lactating women. So I don't know, I think it's iron. This one is definitely for blood. So it comes in this little packaging here. So this I know is for iron and for blood. So, so I have to organize this little basket of mine here today. This is the basket. I don't know if I've vlogged about this before, but it's the basket that I carry around with me around the house. It has everything that I need. So the towels will need to be changed. Um, it has my medicine because I keep falling sick, and then it has this hand and foot, hand and foot, head and mouth um, wet wipes to kind of wipe his face, and it has my disinfectant wipes. This is like a hand sanitizer thingy. My earphones, but there's a lot of stuff. This is my nipple cream, which I kind of stopped using after the second week because it got a lot better. Um, yeah, it has a lot of shit in there which I need to clear out. And this is my new medicine. This is the antibiotics that is keeping me alive at the moment. So that needs to go in there. And I put my phone in there. And I'm putting my iPad in there as well. So he has just been... I don't want to say nightmare, but he has been an interesting baby today. He basically woke up like once every hour. He used to wake up like once every two to three hours. So. I'm really hoping that this is not a sign of what's to come, but every time he wakes up, he wants to feed. But right now, um, he's just chilling. So I did read like in the book that as they grow up, they actually uh, they sleep a lot less. And then they basically just chill and do whatever that they want to do. So I finally found a way to keep him quiet. This little thing here, I bought it for breastfeeding and it's just so useless because it, for that purpose it's useless because it's so high. By the time you put it like onto your waist, there's no space for the baby to, it's basically your boobs already. So the baby does, doesn't have any space to maneuver. But actually um, one of my friends told me that she also got this, we actually got this for her for baby shower as well. And then in the end she used it for this purpose. And then I saw today on Instagram that someone also used it for this purpose and it kind of reminded me. So he looks like he's really enjoying just chilling here. So I'm hoping that this would be like a good entertainment for him. We did buy him like a Sita thingy uh, from Stoke but it hasn't arrived yet. There was something wrong with our mother care order but I think this would do for now. He's entertained I'm so tired that I'm just trying to soldier on. I've been lying down on the sofa because I've been so tired. You've made mommy very tired today, baby. It's a growing boy. Mm. 